Do you think about life a lot? Do you play a lot of video games in your free time? Do you strive to learn new things in life? If you can relate to this, then stick around. Know that you're not alone. In fact, more people than you know around you think like this. I should know since I'm one of them. Did you know that the way you play video games can have a serious positive impact on your life? A huge part of how this came to be is because of what games are. Video games are a unique platform for personal growth. A big part in why is because of it being an interactive medium. Quite possibly the most important thing video games teach is the importance of life, friendship and trust. Or as I'd like to call it, the big three. Beginning with friendship, I'd like to give special mention to the game Final Fantasy XV. The whole point of Final Fantasy XV was the value of comrades. Hell, the game even got a multiplayer mode with the name Comrades. Our protagonist Noctis stresses the importance of his friends to him because of the fact that he couldn't get as far on his own. Trust can mean the difference of life and death. Well, in real life, it's often not as dramatic, but hey. As you may know, trust between you and people around you is something forged in most story-driven games. Shining examples being the wolf from Minecraft. No, I'm not joking. Navi from The Legend of Zelda, and again, every party member in Final Fantasy XV. Trusting one's friends is something you may feel is hard today because of various different reasons. However, I aim to rectify this using this YouTube channel. Checking in what you've learned and how you act in video games, assuming you don't murder everyone, is something that can be applied in real life. Friendly as heck in Minecraft or Undertale, great, use that to become a better person today. They say life's a game and surely then, there's no reason to be mean. Younger viewers may not know this, but in in early gaming, there was no such thing as saving one's game. Once on the last life, you'd try to make as much progress before it came to an end. So why not with your real life as well? Loneliness is something that everyone has experienced at some point in their life. Fundamentally, the two different variations of loneliness are chosen loneliness and being lonely. Time for yourself is great, don't get me wrong, but the latter is something all too common, especially around young people. Following the examples mentioned during chapter 1, companionship is a special feeling that should be felt. One true companion in your life is better than 100 fake ones, someone you'd call a partner. Do not take these people for granted because you may only get one chance to encounter them. Games teach us that valuing the truly special people in our lives is essential for growth to occur. The word experience has gotten a lot of attention these days, for example being used in a negative terms for job appliances or positive and motivational speeches. Whatever the reason, experience is what will lead you to the future just as it has to the point you're at now. Gaming experience comes in various forms, such as leveling up a skill or a stat or learning a layout of a map, attack patterns of enemies, combinations of items, you name it. Now at first glance, these examples may not sound that relevant to real life, however looking at it in a mindset Sort of way instead of just an action way, you begin to see what I mean. For instance, leveling up skills or stats when grinding in an MMO embodies a healthy goal target and mindset that can be applied to real life goals too. Or item combinations aka crafting will train your creative mind, thus making you into a better problem solver that in part is something you need to master when working by yourself in any kind of job setting. Look, the point I'm trying to make is that experience in gaming isn't just always a number going up, exactly as in real life, whereas age doesn't directly mean that you have a more experienced than someone else. The important part is to look at life in a way that is your own. You as a player memorize the best way to do things in your life. Whether it be dating, learning a language or strength training, it's all something that can utilize the mindset that games subconsciously teach us. Growing as a person, no matter how slow or how fast, is an experience. So how can you use this knowledge? Well, using this YouTube channel as mentioned before, I'll try my best to make this a safe place for anyone that feels lost in their life. That said, I need your support too. The biggest life lessons are learned through experience, so let's all experience gaming together, hyping for new releases and being civil in the comments. Of course, as I'm the one making this, I need the ones willing to join me to subscribe and help grow this community that I want to create with you all. Any and all suggestions for future content is welcome, because I want to be that guy who can truly make something that makes you feel at home. Share your own ideas with users and me using the comments. Be sure to keep on gaming and build new relationships with people all over the planet because you never know how experiences through games might impact your life. Hey, thanks for making it to the end. I hope my sincere feelings reached you. Know that I am beyond grateful to you. And as always, have a good one.